They're, they're both Altergeist ones. I finally got enough gems from my daily 130 gems. <laughs> Uh, it's actually like 155, but anyway. Um, oh, is it because you're doing the dual solo modes every day as well? No, no. Uh, the five from spectate and the twenty from logging in. Oh yeah. On top of the fifty thirty, uh, fifty fifty and thirty. But um, I finally could build Altergeist, and this is my favorite deck. This is the deck that I play in real life, and uh, having only one multi faker isn't gonna stop me when I still have access to Puquiri. I have failover. I have everything really. I don't have Link Ross. And I don't have second faker, so all the cool combos are out of, off the table. But I still have like the full control deck. Um, unfortunately, it has the same problem as like Adagnister, where like the games take forever. Like holy cow! Um, you're not gonna be able to see because this is a replay. But this match against La Rene, La Rana Rene, was 28 minutes long. And I just don't have time for that. Like, I, I could have finished my entire dailies with the book bag deck in that time. So this is the deck I'll play in, like, tournaments. But in ladder, I'm going to continue to probably grind with book bag and just do my dailies. But this is virtual world, and I know virtual world. I know, like, the ins and outs. I know what to use, like, mitigates on, what to bounce, what to get rid of. Yeah, yeah. but how about you walk us through? How do you beat virtual world? Because this deck is a pain in the ass. <laughs> so virtual world is... There's two ways that they can play it. They can go all in on the very fun dragon, which is what this guy's doing, or they can try and play it more control-based with the Chuche and the Shen Chen. And when they don't have any information, they're more likely to just go into the VFD. So, uh, by, like, he went first, he doesn't know I'm on Altergeist, so he makes the VFD. Um, the biggest one is Lao Lao, this one here. This guy is the problem child. If this card didn't exist, Virtual World would never win any duels. Um, so, th like, this is the guy to focus on. Uh, most people will tell you it's this one. This is, like, the searcher. This, like, gets the whole deck online. It dumps the spell to search and searches on summon and gives them two cards. But if you had 10 copies of Pot of Greed in your deck and 30 Vanillas, I don't care about Pot of Greed, no matter how many times you play it. I don't care what you're searching for. I, I don't care that you're searching. What I care is what you're searching for, and you're getting the problem child. This thing is so unbelievably good, being a six-star tuner, that even in this scenario here, had I gone, like, Nibiru and taken this thing out, he was just, like, uh, the banish of this away from searching Lao Lao, summon Lao Lao, bring back a three, make Cloud Castle, Cloud Castle bring back a nine, make another VFD anyway. Like, Lao Lao all by itself is just this card. Like, Lao Lao is obnoxious. It can just make Shen Shen if they already used, like, their one King of All Calamity. Like, Lao Lao is everything in the Virtual World deck. Chuche is nice. It's a pop. It's whatever. It means that, like, you can shotgun on, like, Imperm. Uh, like, you don't have to worry about them chaining Imperm because you can just Chuche your guy and then it still resolves and everything's great. But Lao Lao is how the deck plays through interrupts. It's how the deck plays on turn two or later. It's incredibly searchable. There's all kinds of combos where, like, you make Vermilion Dragon Mech and banish a tuner from your graveyard to pop a card, and you pop itself to get back your banished tuner monster to your hand. And then you just summon Lao Lao, make Cloud Castle, bring back the Vermilion Dragon Mech and make your VFD. Or you can make Chao Feng, who uh, can be popped using the trap card. And when Chao Feng is popped, it searches for a tuner. So you search for Lao Lao, special Lao Lao, make Cloud Castle, bring back the Chao Fang, and make your very, your true king of all calamities. Like, Lao Lao is obscene. That's all there is to it. He's the Ben 10 of the deck. He, he's all you have to worry about is Lao Lao. Okay, so shut down Lao Lao and <laughs> win target. Yeah. So I've got my turn against VFD. And good players... With VFD, like, you have one of two options. You either play around Kaijus or you play around Imperm. Uh, you play around Imperm by waiting for a card to come down. You play around Kaijus by just shotgunning it. But if they chain Imperm, you lose. If you don't chain it, if you don't shotgun it and I Kaiju it, you lose. So... I it, mean, there's, there's also the problem. I think it's better to not shotgun it because you can also play around Effect Veiler. I mean, um, Effect Veilers can't be used on your opponent's own turn. 
Oh yeah, okay. So yeah, pretty much it's in per yeah, it's in It's also main phase only. That's like when you use like a ray in the battle phase to go into Kagari, they can't Valor it because it's the battle phase, stuff like that. So if you shotgun it in the main phase, it literally is in perm or lose. I guess there's okay. droplet now, but uh, yeah. So you got a question: Are you playing around in perm or kaiju? I think in perm is more common. In perm, correct. Right? So it, it is typically correct to hold for a card. Now. What attribute you call is something that most people don't know. Light is typically the one that gets called because Eldic sends from hand, but the reality is water is the correct one to call because of Shadow Ariel banishing your graveyard and ruining your entire life. Uh, hand and graveyard effects can still be used under King of All Calamities. You just can't attack or use field effects because everyone's attribute changes to the called attribute. Um, I don't want him to know to call water and stop my Meluseek search. That's the only relevant effect I have at this hand. So I want him to shotgun his VFD, and he doesn't. He lets me get to main phase one, and I'm like, all right, so if I had, a, if I had drawn my Gadarla, this would have been clean, over, but didn't have that luck. So let's set a card. Whoa, okay, that went really fast. So I set a card to see if he would just VFD and call something, because now I can't imperm him. And he didn't. And I was like, okay, set another card. Again, trying to just give him no information, make him call something, and he didn't. So fine, I'll normal summon a monster, now you can know to call water, sucks to be me. And he's set to auto. So it didn't even ask him. So oh, and I just dark to talk him. So I just went into the battle phase, and I was like, okay, I get first action. And then it's damage step, he can't chain it. <laughs> I'd be so mad! <laughs> I'd be so mad, I literally had like, by the entire play my... And then I forget to do it. I'd be so angry. Oh, wow. That is just savage. And at this point, I only have to play around Shen Shen. There's, your pot. There's how you play around Shen Shen. Bounce it, because it comes back from the graveyard an unlimited number of times, but... Get rid of Shen Shen. <laughs> like, right, 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 right. I, I mean, the tilt is so real. Like, oh, okay, I normal play this, play this. Opponent's like, all right, I've got to wait, I've got to wait, I've got to wait. And it's just like, battle phase? <laughs> attack. Just sneak the attack through and I just win. 